Thank you so much for joining me, Alyssa Arundel, for your September monthly tarot card reading. Wow, well, this month pretty much kick starts with a full moon in Pisces on the 2nd, which can really see us honing our psychic uh, abilities and intuition. Full moons are also about releasing and letting go, so we may want to start this month by thinking about the things that we are ready to um, pass on in our lives you know what do we want to transform from but then we move on to a new moon on the 17th which is in Virgo now new moons are about manifestation what we want to bring in so the reverse of the start of the month and it's in Virgo so I feel the more precise we can be about our manifestations the better but for a more in-depth astrological view you can look at uh, Patrick's September monthlies or in fact reach out to him or myself for a one-to-one -one, uh, for your specific situation. Uh, just want to thank everyone as well that watches our daily overview show and if you don't know about it I'd love to tell you about it. It's where Patrick and I uh, delve into the astrological and spiritual energies of that day. So enjoying providing that content for you. It's wonderful to read your comments and uh, it means the world to me to be able to do that with you every single day. And if you would like to check out your free three card tarot spread you can do so by clicking on the link beneath this video. It's not as intimate as a one-to-one -one session, but it will uh, tell you about your past, present, and future situation. Uh, and to have that for free, I think, uh, could be pretty cool to check out. So without further ado, let's delve into what your specific zodiac sign, tarot card influence, has for you this month. Hello Leo and thank you for joining me for your monthly tarot card reading for September 2020. Let's see lovely Leo what is going on in your present situation. This is a fantastic card to uh, come up really. You have the Eight of Cups here. The Eight of Cups is about moving on. If we think about the Six of Swords, the Six of Swords is moving on from a try in time whereas the eight it's a different kind of moving on this is about doors opening up for you new opportunities come in so there's a sense of excitement about this rather than melancholy but what is blocking you uh, through this process we have the six of cups Interesting here, the Six of Cups is about nostalgia and thinking about the past. So you might feel a bit torn this Leo, uh, this month, Leo, between moving on and reminiscing about the past. This could be get, getting over a relationship that hasn't worked out, a romantic relationship or a friendship of some kind. Thoughts about your uh, adolescence or childhood could really come up. So it's kind of like being torn between that excitement of a brand new dawn but also, you know, that reminiscing nostalgia about the past. So nothing majorly negative. It's just that a lot of emotion might come up for you this month. The card that is your foundation is fantastic. You've got a major arcana card and this is the Magician. If we look at his table here, he has coins, which represent the pentacles. He has cups, he has uh, a wand here, and he has a, a knife, which is swords, air. So he has all the elements on his work station, and he's combining and mixing them all together, a bit like alchemy, uh, to see how he can bring his ideas into fruition. So, for example, if this was you wanting to go for a new job, you'd be weighing up the financial uh, ramifications of this, you'd be weighing up, you know, the logic, does it feel right, the cups, um, you know, and, and, and so... It is about, you know, this earth as well with the ones, you know, do you feel grounded in this situation? So whatever it is that you want to manifest that you're bringing into your situation, especially with that new moon uh, at the end of the month on the 17th, um, you know, you can do that by weighing up all of these uh resources at your fingertips your past situation is the wheel of fortune so you have another major here the wheel of fortune is about a chapter being over it's card 10 it's not the end of the major arcana cycle but it is the end of an element of that cycle because 10 represents completion so you've learned a lot of lessons you've gone through a lot of cycles and stages within your life um, it's time to move on to something new now again reiterating that eight of cups uh, feeling 
new opportunities, new things to learn, something that's really going to satisfy you, capture your mind. So if you are thinking of changing your vocation in some way, I think this is going to be really help, healthy and helpful for you to do that, to reignite that spark uh, and that, you know, lust for life. Your card that spiritually crowned you here is the Three of Swords. It can be a bit of a difficult card, again, representing loss. Um, for each of you, this is going to be a different type of loss. Um, it can very often mean divorce. So, you know, if you've been or, or a significant breakup. So if, if that has been something you've been going through or you have been through, there could still be some wounds from that. It could be, you know, a family member or friend that you've lost that you're thinking about a lot lately. Um, it isn't, it's, 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 it's it's almost like you're feeling just the burn, you know, that burn in your heart when you think about things that have been taken from you in life. And I think it's not, um, it's about you reminiscing about those things this month. But please don't try to just put on a bubbly front and brush over it. Um, try to instead digest those feelings let yourself cry let yourself heal reach out for some professional advice even if you need that kind of counsel or um, you know support your immediate future here uh, this is lovely you have here the knight of cups the knight of cups can represent new love coming into your existence and your world um, he can promise a lot of things as well you know make sure or, or she uh, make sure that they deliver on their promises um, but the night is the night of cups in your immediate future is about just yes enjoying the fruitful things that life has to offer you, you're moving on from those turbulent, difficult times and opening yourself back up to love. And if this isn't to do with a partner, this is to do with that self-love, you know, how you view yourself when you, you know, look at yourself in the mirror. Are you just scanning over your body and seeing yourself as an object and then you know, ripping yourself to pieces? Or are you actually looking into your eyes and your soul and seeing the beauty and the divine spot that lives there? Um, fall back in love with yourself, Leo, if, if that has been something, your self-confidence has been eradicated in some way. Your state of mind for this month is the King of Cups. So you're moving from this night, which is the messages about love, and actually taking that on board. The King of Cups it can represent somebody in your life who is a, a male um, or a situation that the king of cups represents somebody who is kind who is warm who is generous who gives very good emotional support very emotionally intelligent um, so it could be worth speaking to this person in your life if it does represent a person this is, again, about you getting more in touch with your emotions. I feel like the psychic insights from the full moon on the second could really sort of see you going from that fiery go-getting energy into more, more of an introspection, um, more introspection and more sort of going inward and, and feelings this month. Ooh, those feelings. <laughs> Don't skim past them. They're to be treasured, those emotions. So your outside influence is the moon. Wow. You could find some information out this month, Leo, that makes you feel a little bit um, tense. Uh, someone could tell you a secret. You're not quite sure what to do with it. Um, there could be some confusion. It's uh, like going through a storm and not being able to quite see where you are. But if you use your psychic insights, you'll be able to psychically see where you're going. It's not necessarily about having all the facts at your fingertips. This is about feeling through the month, which may be a big ask, particularly if you're somebody who wants to focus more on the logic. Um, I definitely feel that your thoughts and, uh, well, particularly your feelings are going to be a more uh, accurate guide, actually, this month than your logic, which may surprise you. 
So your, um, let's have a look at your hopes and your fears next, Leo. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. This card shines a light on everything in this spread. When the sun card comes up, any cards that you felt were a bit negative or a bit troublesome, the sun really uh, does sort of put rays of light on top of it and says it's not as bad as you think, actually. This is you as well, this fire energy, this sun energy. There is so much to look forward to. There is so much to um, get out of life. And if you're going through a particularly tricky patch at the moment, please don't think it will last forever. Uh, I can assure you that we all go through these moments. Not all of us talk about it because very often, you know, we're adults, we want to be seen as having our lives together, but sometimes we just want someone to take the reins for us and sort it out. Uh, and that is a very common thing that we all feel. So yes, if you're going through these uh, tricky obstacles, please don't think that there isn't an end. There is. And not only is there an end to it, there's a beautiful bright sun uh, shining in your direction. Now let's have a look at your outcome card for the month of September. And we end with the Queen of Swords. So by the end of the month, I think that, you know, we'll allow you to bring some logic back into the fold. Um, the Queen of Swords can see through deceit and lies. She can get to the truth of a matter. Um, you might need to be a little bit aloof this month with some people. Um, and that's okay. I think as long as you keep a sense of humor about you... Um, so you don't come across as too cold. Um, being a bit aloof uh, at the end of the month in particular could work in your favour. So not trying to be everybody's best friend, not trying to um, get on with everybody. You may do that more towards the beginning of the month, I feel, but by the end, you're, you know, standing back in your power. You've given a bit of leeway and now you're reclaiming uh, what is yours. So to recap, a month where things may come to the surface, there is a lot of things to look forward to, a bit of nostalgia about the past, particularly if it's around a breakup or some kind of loss, it's okay to have those feelings and emotions, but that bright sun proves that it won't last forever and by the end of the month you're back on track with your logical mind to get things done. So there you have your tarot card spread for the month of September. Thank you once again for joining me. If you would like to uh, get your free three card spread, find that link beneath this video and uh, snaffle yourself a free spread. But until we speak again next month, it's been such an honor sharing this space with you. Good luck for this month and goodbye, Alyssa.